What's up, what's up, what's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible GFS. Let's talk Draft King Fantasy Basketball segments for the slate of August day 26, 2020. It's a three game slate. Uh, as you guys know uh, by now, uh, Lillard is out. So if you don't know, I'm telling you right now, he's out. Davis is playing. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the point guard position. Then, of course, everybody else so for the point guard we have james harden 11.8 uh lebron james 10.8 uh i kind of like the discount on lebron james um as you can see lebron for just one game he didn't do too good and they still end up winning the game but the man has been balling out the man is a beast all right so um Westbrook is out still. Chris Paul, 8.1K. I don't mind going there. Uh, my column price probably went up because of the news of uh, of, uh, Le- of uh, Lillard is out. But at 8.1K, I'm not sure if I'm going there. I know he, usually he does good, did, do, did good when in the past, but this is the playoff and it's against the Lakers. So a big difference. In FD, definitely different price, 7.3K. I will definitely go there. All right. But uh, again, I just probably would rather play Chris Paul, uh, Shad, 7.4K, Schroeder, and, you know, the other play guys. So uh, as far as my point guard, as you guys know by now, if you don't know, I usually put Ard, uh, Arden in the uh, shooting guard position. So I'm not even, or LeBron James in the small forward position. So, I will talk about them later, but for point guard, uh, definitely like Chris Paul, like Shy, like Shorter, Fault, and then uh, George Hill did good, uh, three point nine k. David uh, Simmons price went up. Simons, that Simons price went up. I wish he was uh, three three k or three point five or something like that. But they price more because uh, they know uh, I want to play him. I'm going to play him. But uh, the fact that his price is still around uh, George Hill price, I probably don't play him as much as I would like to. So, but definitely gonna take a chance. If it's a blowout, most likely he's gonna be there. We don't play for blowout, but the possibility is there. So, all right. As far as shooting guard, uh, uh, let's go to the top. James Arden, it's my favorite. Uh, CJ McCallum, mostly is shooting guard too. So uh, I can see me play him, but again, not much. Uh, if I'm going to play him, I will play him as a shooting guard, a guard, or utility. But as of right now, I would say maybe 10% of my lineups. Um, Shoulder, I like six point four K. Gordon has been good lately. Four five point four K. Love the price. It was give you a thirty fantasy point last game. Trent Junior might finally have a breakout game where he actually go over thirty fantasy points. Um, Danny Green price went up, but he had twenty seven fantasy points, so that's the reason. So that's another thing. Should, would I go with Danny Green or Simons? The thing is, most likely Simons is probably going to play more minutes. But if I had the choice, who would I go with? Probably Simons, to be honest. But that doesn't mean he's going to outscore uh, Green. But definitely going to be a popular play. So, uh, Arden, my favorite shooting guard. Uh, I would put Shy since I bought Paul. So, Shy, definitely another one. Uh, then uh, I would go with uh, Schroeder over Gordon, Fournier, T. Was all those guys. And my column is in there too, but don't like him. I like mostly everybody else before him. I just listed. As far as Arden, Shea, uh, Schroeder, Gordon, Fournier, and Was. Uh, small forward, LeBron James, definitely my favorite player here. Uh, Meloton price 7.8k. As much as I like him in FD, I don't like him in ZK because of the 1.4k difference. Uh, Gallo, very disappointed, but I don't mind taking a chance. The price is too good. 
and the minutes is actually there he played 29 minutes that's not bad at all so uh, i wouldn't mind going there uh covington's 5.7k price has been going down that's because he hasn't been doing good even though he went over 28 for the second last game but before that he was what about 18 22 and 18 so that's why the price is going down uh i already talked about gordon carmelo uh one of my favorite small forward for the night uh, I can see him taking way more shots. That's probably his last game as a Portland, or at least his last game for the season. So uh, I can see him go down shooting. Uh, House has been great, actually. Uh, the prices keep climbing, but uh, that could be a reason I stay away. But 5.5k, uh, it's not too bad in a three-game slate. Cosma is usually a no for me, uh, even. Tomorrow it's a nowhere, uh, but yeah, it's still a no for me. But I can actually see myself taking a chance. That probably would be my first time playing him. Uh, and uh, T was it's more like a shooting guard I would play him. But if you want to play him, my small forward still good. 5K, I'll definitely rather play him than Cosma. Uh, Trent, I'll talk about him. Uh, Ennis, I don't mind going there. I, Dot has been seen minutes. They usually like him on the floor going against uh, Arden. He does his best. He do his best, but hey, it's Arden. Uh, Danny Green, again, I don't mind taking a chance. Uh, and then I can see uh, his own Jack get some minutes. It's even how the game is going. Uh, Mark Clemo actually was doing good, in the, oh, he didn't, but he doesn't play enough minutes. I think it's all those minutes in the first half. Um, where does that say no? Uh, that's basically it for a small forward. Uh, there's a player I wanted to talk about, but I guess he's uh, a shooting guard. So let's go back to the shooting guard real quick. Uh, let's see, just me. Yeah, KCP. KCP. I wouldn't mind taking a chance on KCP there. All right, so uh, for the power forward position, it's Davis 10.5k Giannis right behind Davis Nurkic is a no for me. I mean, I'm always gonna feel like it's a no against the Lakers. Uh, Gordon is coming back. I don't see any reason for him to come in back. The team has no chance whatsoever, so just let him heal and no need to even come back and play. Uh, Gallo again, guys. If you want to play my small forward, power forward, I wouldn't mind going there. Carmelo, I like him even at 5.9k. Would I play him over Covington? Yes. House, I don't mind taking a chance. Gary Clark, actually, seen a little bit more minutes than Ennis. Uh, did even better, so I was surprised to see that. Uh, Basley, not enough minutes for me to play. He played 18, 19 minutes, but still not enough for me uh, to play him. That's basically, so basically it's uh, Morris, uh, I don't think, I don't know. He did uh, about 12 minutes in the first half, and then that's basically it. Uh, again, it's uh, Giannis, Davis, or oh, Davis, Giannis. Then I'll go down to uh, Carmelo as my third, then Covington, and then uh, Galin. Actually, I like Galinia a little bit better than Covington. I think he will have a decent game this time around. All right, and he's not going to be a popular player there, so that's probably a good time to go to him. As far as the center, Busevic, Green, Book Lopez, Whiteside, Tucker Clark, Howard, Maggie did good in that little minutes he play. Uh, those are the guys I'm looking to play. So, if I'm going, my top five would be Busevich, number one, Green, second, Book, third. Then I'll go White Side, then Clark as my fifth one. Uh, or maybe Howard, but I'll go with Clark there. Um, Howard seen about oh, 24 minutes. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it for center as far as my five players guys anyway again no cage i just cannot play him if maybe it was 7k 
then maybe I'll take a chance. But I just can't play him. So my five players are. I'm going to start with uh, a non-popular player. He's playing in the first game. And I'm going to go back to Lopez here, man. I'm going back to Lopez at 5.2K. And I'm standing in this game. And go. So I'm thinking, you got three guys that basically about the same price. You got Fournier. All right. Fournier, you're going to see the minutes, 36 minutes. 33.5 fantasy point that's good to see you are false so all those guys are about the same price and the team definitely play better when false is a little bit more engaged uh and then you have what so all those guys uh play about the same minutes and return about the same fantasy points for me have to me as the highest ceiling uh for that reason i'm gonna go with him over false false probably gonna be a popular play but i'm gonna go with four near here all right and then I'm gonna go with Shay. Shay. I'm gonna go with Shay here. And then uh, I'm gonna go with Davis as my full play. So uh, the thing is, as far as my fifth play, uh, by the way, I didn't talk about Caruso. Uh, no, he's not going to have fifth play, by the way. So I'm think I'm going to go with Simons here. I know he's 4K, but I'm going to go with him here. Uh, I was thinking of going to false, but I'm going to go with Simon here. Oh, here, And hoping, uh, hopefully, he can get, probably going to get 30 some plus minutes. And hopefully, somehow, he can return 25 fantasy points with those. Possibly, hopefully more, but at least 25. All right, so my five players are Shea, Gilgis Alexander, Fournier, Davis, Book Lopez, and Simons. Uh, appreciate you guys. Please, please, please uh, subscribe. Uh, I link my uh, Discord. I put the link in there. So if you guys want to go ahead and join my Discord, please do so. And also uh, drop a like in this video. And I uh, appreciate you guys. Hopefully, uh, I'm glad uh, Denver win as far as we're going to get two games on uh, Thursday. So, that's good to see why they done one game slate. So, uh, the fantasy God was looking out for us. Anyway, guys, again, appreciate you guys. Drop back in this video. I'm out.